Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Afrobos Edition Show. So today we're going to talk about money, shmoney. A lot of each of those are 1 million each. So I'm going to head to the bank but I wanted to go ahead and talk about money. My purse is full so I have to get rid of it. Talk to you guys later. Bye. We're going to talk about money just because many people have inquired a lot more about um, how do you consistently make profit in your businesses within the first five years so that's going to be the conversation and let me just turn off the ac because it's making some noise so basically you're not going to be able to build a multi-million dollar empire right away within the first five years is really when you're testing your business you're testing your strategies and you're really trying to get to know your clients more and really ways for you to market your products or services better so let me talk a little bit about my personal experience how i've been able to save money how i've been able to invest my money into my businesses <music> So the first thing before you even try to acquire wealth is to really change and shift your mindset. I think many people, we grew up in a culture where we saw Hollywood movies where the rich people were portrayed as the drug dealers. They were portrayed as the people who were really into corruptions and they were portrayed as the evil. There's this saying that goes this way. Money is the root of all evil. The more you say it, the more your conscience believe it, and the more you're never going to be able to acquire that much money just because you haven't shifted your mindset into really being in love with money. I know many people talk about affirmations. You have to talk about how money comes to you easily, how you can acquire a lot of money and all of these things. I wanted to make today's video because I feel like many people have a lot of questions when they see another person thriving. I'm taking the example of a woman like me a young woman and I've had so many questions that people ask me about where did I acquire my wealth I've had people tell me that maybe I've acquired it from men maybe I've acquired it from my parents maybe I've acquired it from corruption or anything that is not really clear right those things that you do behind the scene that nobody has no clue about and I think I've been really transparent over the years by telling people not only how did I acquire my wealth but also what have I done in order for me to reach this level where I'm financially independent so this is how I'm gonna get started with this entire story I'm somebody who didn't like school but I ended up going to school because I, I didn't know what else I was talented in I didn't believe in myself and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do in my life so having African parents Cameroonian parents have allowed me to just follow the road of going to school because what else do African parents want? They just want their children to go to school. So I forced myself to go to school because that was the getaway. That was really the key for me to acquiring financial literacy and also financial freedom, okay? So you guys already know, but I have a bachelor in accounting and I have an MBA. And I've been able through my career of almost nine years working for corporate America. I've been able to hold certain position that also allow me to have some type of financial independence okay so now how did I acquire the things that I have today and how did I even go about building my first business everything happens strategically you have to think first of what type of relationship you have with money if you're somebody who love money if you're somebody who wants to be the next Oprah of Africa that will be me then you have to have a healthy relationship with money having a healthy relationship with money means that when you see other people making it you see other people thriving you see other people who are financially illiterate you have to learn from them I've read books after books after books just to allow me to learn how to even save money first then I've read other set of books to learn how to invest my money strategically so my first business as you guys know was my brother company I I launched my brother company back in 2017 
in and this was a company that nobody believed in people thought i was wasting thousands and thousands of dollars just because i had the idea that this thing was going to work and my first thought was to willing have the headquarters in houston but have a branch in cameroon because why not cameroon because cameroon is a place where i grew up it's a place that is dear to my heart and i really wanted to bring something different i wanted to bring something that i know many women didn't have access to so the idea for me to even build that company came years back but to get to the level where I had a healthy relationship with money was really a roller coaster. Because when you broke and you don't have enough, which I've been broke and I didn't have enough, you don't have a good relationship with money. Everything is about, I don't have the money, I'm broke. And those were some of the words that I stopped saying to myself. Every time people would say, can you afford this thing? I would tell them right now, I have the money, but my bank account is not aware of it. That was a way for me to just get into the habit of not saying I don't have the money. So I got used to saying I have the money, but my bank account just doesn't know it yet. I've been able to acquire money in a way that I never expected. I mean, never expected. I remember my first business, I gave everything. I mean, when I say I gave everything, I spent about twenty-five to 26000 just the first couple of months of me launching my business. And I ended up paying even more when it was time for me to find a physical location in Cameroon. So that being said, if you had asked me years back, are you going to be able to even raise 20000 or save $20,000? I was going to tell you no, because I've never physically seen $20,000. I mean, I've seen $1,000, $2,000, $5,000. I've seen $6,000, even up to $10,000. But in one lump sum, just to see $20,000, no. At that time in my life, which was five years ago, guys, five years ago, it was really... It was something that I didn't even dream of because for me, I was like, okay, I do want to invest in this business. I believe in this business more than anything else in this world because even my own parents, even most of my friends didn't believe in my business ideas. And today we're going on year five and it's still thriving. Okay. I have bad months. I have bad years. COVID happened. It was going to end up being a bad year, but guess what? It wasn't a bad year despite COVID. So that's just to tell you. If you have a plan, if you have something that you love, if you want to be successful in life, financially successful, then you have to listen to yourself. You have to stop pointing the finger at other people and saying that they haven't acquired wealth in the right way. Okay? Because I've had many people ask me, um, but how exactly did you do it? I even had people question the career that I was in and question if I wasn't sleeping with somebody in that company for me to get certain type of benefits. Guys, I've heard it all. For me being a sugar baby, for me being whatever you want to call it, I've heard it all. But I'm here to tell you this. For me to decide, I'm going to relocate back to Cameroon and I'm going to invest not only in my current businesses, but also in other things that I have passion in. All of that came about just because I believed in myself more than anybody else. Even my own parents were like, no, I don't think you're going to succeed. I don't think you're going to make it back home successfully. And guess what? Guess where I am? Recently, I remember telling a friend of mine that I bought a car. And her reaction was like, you bought a car? What do you mean you bought a car? I said, no, I bought a car. And then she went ahead and told me that, but you were already driving a car. I said, yes, I know. But I wanted to buy a brand new car. I mean, this is not brand new car, guys. You guys already watched the video where I'm saying that this is a used car. But I just wanted to tell her that I finally bought the car that I wanted. Even though the other one was really amazing, but it had so many issues. I got to the point where I was like, enough is enough. I need a car that I can drive everywhere without thinking about how to fix it. Okay. And the next question after she finds out that I spent over $15,000 is to really ask me the question, where did you get the money? And I feel like as a woman let me talk about all the women watching this video right now i feel like we always have we constantly have to justify how we get in the money that we have i had workers of mine employees of mine think that the money is coming from my husband bank account i don't have a husband <laughs> so that's already out of the picture but it's just this constant reminder that 
you cannot possibly have this much money. You cannot possibly acquire this much money. And I've also had people, friends of mine, who went through the same road of going to school. We had almost the same degrees. We went almost to the same universities back in the US. And many of them are looking at me. And, and up to today, they're still asking me the same question of, how did you get the money? Which at some point I had to stop telling people how I got the money because it's really all about planning accordingly. I've been somebody who can live on a really tiny budget and nobody will ever know. I was the person that when I knew I was going to invest into my businesses, guess what I did? I stopped going out, stopped going to the club. I basically isolated myself from socializing with people because I knew that socializing with people meant spending more money so that was already something that i knew i wasn't going to be spending money on people talk about fashion i'm a woman i like fashion i like to dress up i like my hair to be done all the time many people don't know this but i do my hair on my own i do my hair by myself i used to be a hairstylist back in the days in my college years i was a hairstylist so i've learned how to do my own hair whether it's weave whether it's braids everything you can think of i do it myself every hairstyle you see on my head is probably me except if i change the color of my natural hair then it's probably not me but i'm just telling you i've had to learn how to do things alone how to do things by myself just because i did not want to spend more money one thing that people don't know is that this trendy fashion of like buying chanel purses buying gucci buying all of these things i'm not fan of it i can have it i have prada purses i have chloe purses but guess what those are some staple items i probably have about four high luxury purses in my entire closet but i have about 15 purses I consider guess and something like micro cars a really nice quality purse and i know many people many of the girls and the people that i know the women that i know will rather spend money on buying chanel purses than investing that money into a business i consider luxury being the food that i eat the way i live my life on purpose and peacefully i consider luxury the relationship i have with my family and best friends that's what for me is luxury and i know many people have different opinions not everybody wants to build empires not everybody wants to build businesses but that's me right so because i have that goal and because i want to be that person who is making millions of dollars guess what I don't need the Chanel purses and I don't need all of these things. And I also don't mind being the person that will be wearing guest shoes when other women are wearing red bottoms. I don't mind being the person that will be wearing a, I don't know, a micro cross purse when other women are going to be wearing Chanel purses. Guess what matters to me? What matters to me is to be able to create generational wealth, not only for myself, for my future children, and also for my community. I want to be able to be in a position where I have so much money. And let me tell you this, because I know many women are running away from talking about money. They're running away from loving money. Because a woman who owns it, a woman who says, I love money and I want to make money and I go for money and I want to build the biggest company on earth. Many people get intimidated by that woman. Guess what? I'm that woman and you can be intimidated all you want. It wouldn't mean nothing to me. Okay. As long as I'm able to achieve my goals and by enabling myself, I'm also enabling other people in achieving their own goals. I'm in a position where I'm creating jobs and I'm not going to feel bad for it. I'm in a position where I can afford some high luxury travel somewhere in China, somewhere in name it just name it and i said china because i've been there and for many people who don't know about china it's beautiful at some point i wanted to be able to do a series on money and then i was like okay there are so many voices in my head that are saying that who are you to talk about money when you are not a multi-millionaire in dollar who are you to talk about money when you are not living in a mansion who are you to talk about money when you are not driving luxurious cars but guess what i'm still going to talk about money because for the people looking at me for the people watching me following me i want them to fall in love with money i want them to have a good relationship with money and i want them to understand that loving money and wanting to be successful is okay it is okay don't think about what the naysayers are going to say because guess what there are many people talking on my behalf talking about how i don't have that money how i'm not able to acquire that money how they don't know how i'm getting that money who cares not about how hard you work 
If you want money, solve problems. If you solve the problem, money will be thrown at it. If it's a million dollar problem, then the solution will make you millions. If it's a billion dollar problem, then the solution will make you billions. There are many sacrifices that you're going to have to accept because guess what? You don't get rich by being comfortable. You get rich by being uncomfortable. And being uncomfortable means that you're going to be eating dirt before you start eating, I don't know, caviar. You're going to be walking by food before you get a car. You're going to be taking the bus before you can say, I'm going to hop on a plane. Because guess what? All of us, including me, have been walking by food, have been taking buses, taking trains and doing everything the hustle lifestyle my hustle lifestyle started my first year in university i was a hairstylist i was a night security supervisor on campus and at some point i became a healthcare assistant in retirement home and people with disability and during the summer i was a summer camp I worked two to three jobs at a time just for me to be able to pay my bills and allow me to have some type of saving while going to school full time. So before somebody hop on here and say, oh no, she doesn't have that money. She's getting it somewhere else. I want to tell you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel this way because this is exactly how you're never going to have that money. Thinking that all these people having the money are having it the wrong way. That's why you still don't have a good relationship with money. That's why you yourself don't have enough of that money. So start loving money. Start appreciating money. Start learning from the people who actually have the money. And they can show you step by step what they've been doing to acquire this money. I have three companies today. YGL Consulting Co., YGL Waging, and Lobosque. And guess what? I have invested my money into those companies. I had strategized how I was going to obtain clients, how I was going to market my products and services. And I'm here today to tell you I am happy. There's still a long way for me to get. There's still a long road for me to reach. Guess what? But I'm there on the road because I'm going to make it there and I'm going to get there. And I want all of us to get there. So start thinking today, how can I shift my mindset into really accepting money into my life, to really allowing myself to attract more money in my life? It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But at the end of the day, we're going to pull through. So I want you to think like that. I want you to have millions and millions of dollars that you're going to be dropping at the bank, that you're going to be closing deals. I want you, I mean, just today, I went to the bank with about 12 million francs CFA, not dollar, francs CFA. And guess what? I was happy. I was happy because those are revenues that I earned in one month. So let me tell you that it's possible. It is possible for you to get there. So don't let other people tell you otherwise, okay? So I hope this video was really helpful. Um, I know there are many things. I mean, there are so many layers on how people can teach you how to gain money, how to earn money, how to build generational wealth and acquire financial literacy. But I'm here to tell you that it is possible, okay? It's, so it's already late and I'm going to go home because I'm exhausted. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Do you actually love money? Okay. Bye. Hey guys, this is a giveaway to give back to the community. You can enter now to win a prize by liking, subscribing to my channel, and sharing this video. A winner will be selected each week and we earn a prize of $50 per week. So subscribe now and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Also, make sure to share this video with friends and close ones. Comment down below and let me know what did you learn from this video. Results will be announced every Monday. So make sure to watch the vlog. Good luck. So this week, there are two giveaway winners and both of them are going to earn a prize of $50 each. So the first one is XT Queen 18 and Jacob. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for always commenting on my videos. Please email me and let me know how I can forward you your $50 giveaway price. On that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.